हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई वेरी फर्स्ट यूट्यूब वीडियो माई नेम इज़ मार्शल एंड टूडे इज़ द डे आई फाइनली हिट दैट अपलोड बटन आई कैंट वेट टू शेयर हाउ आई क्रिएटेड ए म्यूजिक रिएक्टिव लैम्प द आइडिया इज़ टू क्रिएट ए लैम्प दैट कैन सर्व मल्टीपल पर्पसिस सच एज बींग पोर्टेबल सुटेबल फॉर रीडिंग फोर पार्टीज and as a mood lamp all controllable using wifi connection i have divided the video into four parts the first part is an introduction to the components in the second part i'll explain wled and integration the third part focuses on case design while the fourth will be the final video featuring our lamp so let's get started in this video we'll be using the following components a micro usb cable inmp441 digital microphone inmp441 is a small microphone that is used to capture sound the microphone has a high signal to noise ratio which means that it can capture clear and high quality sound an old power bank ESP32 development board the ESP32 development board is a small circuit board that is perfect for building internet connected devices it features a powerful ESP32 computer chip with two processors that can connect to wifi and bluetooth the board includes a small antenna and a powerful amplifier to make it easier to connect to wireless networks it also has a usb port for power and communication and several other connectors that can be used to connect sensors and other devices dc input jack and switch jumper wires ws2812b 8 into 32 led matrix the ws2812b matrix is a led display panel consisting of 256 individual led arranged in a 8 into 32 grid each led on the panel is a ws2812b chip that includes red green and blue light emitting diodes the ws2812b matrix can be programmed to display patterns animations and text making it an ideal component for diy electronics projects such as digital art displays scrolling message boards or digital clocks to control the display you need a microcontroller board like an arduino and a programming language that supports the ws2812b protocol let's jump into the installation of wled now we need a laptop micro usb cable ESP controller board connect USB cable to laptop and open a web browser in browser open google and type install wled or directly open its home page install.wled.me there are multiple ways to install wled one is you can directly get its source code from a mentioned github and compile it in your local machine using visual studio code i'll be showing the way to install wled directly from the web browser so once the page is loaded you will see a welcome page with instructions it is a very easy process you need to select the version you want to install there are basically two versions one is without sound reactive and the other is with sound reactive functionality We will select Sound Reactive and click on Install. It will ask you to connect with the same serial port where the ESP is connected. If you don't know, you can always check in System Devices. It will ask you to clean up the devices before installing new software. Click on Install and wait for few seconds. Once the installation is complete. it will ask for wifi name and password to connect here you can't use 5g network only 2.4g network will be supported once entered click on connect it will come up with three options visit device add to home assistant and skip we will click on visit device as we don't want to integrate with home assistant the home page is opened 
first we need to set the fixed static IP address. This step is optional but important. Because most of the time if your router restarts or anything happens, it will assign some different dynamic IP. So it's always better to use static IP. We will open config page and go to Wi-Fi settings and type the same IP which is assigned automatically. In our case, it is 192.168.0.100. Click save and connect. As we can see our home page is opening and running fine. So we can now disconnect and connect our components together and check everything is working fine or not. In my case, I have already soldered the mic before and just need to follow the instruction and carefully connect all wires with the ESP board. It is a straightforward and very easy process. I'll attach all the required documents. Just follow the circuit diagram and you can easily connect all the components. Once that is done, just connect the ESP board with the computer and open the IP or WLED homepage again. Once the homepage is loaded, go to config, LED preferences and select the GPIO data pin. In my case, it is GPIO 16. Select that and click on save. Again open same page and this time select the strip or panel option and select 2D matrix panel. Select width 8 and height is 32. Select the total length of LED to be 256 and save. Now open sound input settings and select microphone type as generic to LS. Leave other pin values as it is and save. Now we'll connect ESP and LED board together to test if the microphone and LEDs are working fine. Alright, I'll use my iPad for music and try some different music patterns in WLED web. We'll move to case design part. So I found this design on Thingiverse and I modify according to my circuit needs and its looks. It has a space for microphone, one rocket switch and DC connector on the side. On the front side, we will stick our LED display diffuser. On the back side, there is a space to hold power bank. The design is very simple. Here are few time-lapse video while printing the parts. All the designs are printed in two parts because I have a small 3D printer. We can print all the parts and stick together with super glue and then paint to give it a nice look. I'll stick all the parts together and keep it for a night. Once it is ready, I'll use matte black spray paint and paint it. Now our front part is ready and we can put the matrix and other parts inside this lamp and test. 
this small and slim 500 mAh power bank I'll be using. And I'll use the switch and DC connector and attach with the lamp. I already soldered, so I just need to connect cables. Once the matrix is properly fixed inside and seated properly, we can use hot glue gun and stick other parts as well inside this lamp. I printed these two blocks just to hold the matrix in place. Now I will add button and DC cables and solder the DC connector. Once that is done, our last thing is to do is stick corners to hold screws and I waited for a night to stick strongly. Now final part is to attach power bank on the back side or back cover and close it by using screws.